Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to Geeked Up. My name is Craig. If you could please do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel. You know, I see that y'all y'all watching the channel, but y'all not subscribed. So y'all go ahead and, and do your boy a solid and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. And this is basically just more about the, the so-called MCU type of stuff. But um, we're gonna go ahead and rock out and basically what I wanna discuss today is how is DC gonna turn into the MCU? Basically, how is DC going to avoid to become like the MCU? So, or they gonna try to make sure they don't follow in the footsteps of the MCU. Y'all rock out with me real quick, here we go. So, y'all know that David Zaslaw is the new uh, owner of, uh, uh, CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, which is a good thing. And as soon as he stepped in, he gave, he took the guillotine to Batgirl. Straight to it. He won't play no games. And that movie had almost a hundred million dollar budget, you know, production value, all that. And he went in and he went ahead and he cut that off. He said, no, we not gonna make this movie. You know, David Zasloff probably looked at that movie and was like, mm -mm. I'll see where this is going. And we not about to rock out like that. Uh, we not about to rock out like that. And so basically, he, he, he stopped that because he seen how that could have snowballed and, and eventually got to the MCU effect of things. You see what I'm saying? So that's why he probably cut that off. I mean, don't get me wrong. A bad girl movie would be nice, but in the current condition of what's going on, the female led roles are just not good. And then you sat up there and you you switched the race of the uh you know the character. I really don't want to get into the race thing really, because it's not like I said, this is not really my that's not the type of content I want to put out. I'm I wanna be where everybody can rock out. Okay, I'm gonna just say something about the race thing also. You made it into a black woman. Bad girl into a black woman. No. Because if you do stuff like that, then it will snowball effect into other stuff. And then it will it will it will start to become the so-called DCU. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you, you cut stuff off early. When there are plenty of other black female roles that could be played in the DCU, you know, like Vixen. Y'all look up who Vixen is. Vixen is one of my favorite female characters. You know, just, you know, just an example, Nubia. Nubia is an Amazon, second only to Wonder Woman. She might be even a little bit stronger than Wonder Woman and she's her own character. See what I'm saying? That was a quick example of some uh, uh, women women lead, black women lead roles. But, um, you know, now they got James Gunn and they got Peter Safran, who are uh, both uh, uh, co-CEOs, and hopefully they won't turn this into a big mess. And you know, David Zaslav said that he has a 10-year plan, and he specifically talked about Superman. How come we don't got a Superman? You see what I'm saying? So, and then you know you got the DC Trinity, which is Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. So he's gonna focus on that. You see what I'm saying? That way when you focus on that, you don't got time to be dealing with no other mess. And so he's not gonna deal with what could eventually become the D she you. You see what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all follow what I'm saying? So and like I said, that was a hundred million dollar budget. And I think he, he did that as a, uh, 
a tax write-off or something like that, which is smart because if you attack this stuff now, if you just wait on it and you be patient, then you will good, get strong lead female roles that will be good, not trash. And as I stated before, uh, trash movies from the DCEU have been Wonder Woman 1984 and Birds of Prey. Now, let that sink in. Breathe. Bad girl would have been good if she was in the Birds of Prey movie. They didn't want to do that. Let me repeat that. Bad girl would be good if she was introduced in the Birds of Prey movie, but they did not do that. Instead, these writers just did what they wanted to do. I said that about writers in uh, previous videos. They're not comic book fans. But be, uh, if that girl was in that in that video, I mean that uh, movie, excuse me, that would that would have been a pretty good movie. But they just totally just did something terrible with that movie. It's I, I you know I I just, I just get a, a a bad taste in my mouth when I even speak about that movie. That's how bad it was, and my expectations of it was high. You know, like I said, I thought I was gonna see people like. Uh, when I heard Black Canary is going to be in it, I got excited. Terrible. Uh, when I found out Harley Quinn was going to be in it, I was like, please don't let it be the Harley Quinn with the fishnets and stuff like that. And it, it really was. Uh, and then they had Rosie Perez's character in there. I'm like, who is this person? Well, I have never even heard of this person. And then I'm thinking for like, okay, when are we going to see people like Huntress? When are we going to see Batgirl? I'm kind of waiting on them to appear. I thought maybe they just kept it on the, on the, on the hush, on the low low, and then they would bring that out. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be surprised. <clears throat> Nothing. So, basically, it's like when you look at the track record of how bad those movies was, what was going to make Batgirl different? What was going to make Batgirl the best DCU female-led role movie? David Zaslav seen that and said, nah, man, we not going to do this. I can't do this to the fans. And the people are, you, you know, you got to listen to the fans. And right now, the fans are in disarray over the current MCU. Because of what, or shall I say, the current MCU because people are not, not, you know, people are not happy for this. And that's why sales are tanking. And so DC is watching Marvel. I'll repeat that. DC is watching Marvel and they're seeing how they're declining, how they're going down. They're watching that right now. And they thinking like, no, nah, we don't want to do that. They just sitting back in the cut. They peeping out the scenery and they saying, uh-uh, we're not gonna rock like this. And I remember I said in my in my first video, it's like DC is gonna go up, Marvel is going down. When at first it was Marvel going up, DC was down, but now it's changing. It's I mean it's just definitely changing. So now we just got to see. Um, hopefully everything will get right. Hopefully everything will um, just be good. And if you wait, if you wait on it and let the 10 year plan play itself out, then we're going to get good quality movies from DC. I mean, recently, now they're talking about um, teasing a, a Kingdom Come movie, which is one of the... Uh, the best books, uh, it's almost like a graphic novel, I believe, so I haven't read it. I started reading it, but I got uh, I really want to read it. They're talking about doing a Kingdom Come. Shout out to Alex Ross, the great Alex Ross who did the art for that. You see what I'm saying? Also, they're teasing uh, maybe a Lobo. You know, James Gunn is, is posting a lot of stuff 
on his social media, he's showing pictures of Lobo. He's showing pictures of Kingdom Come. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that are changing over there uh, at DC and it's for the best, but you have to be patient. You have to sit back and you have to be patient and let them cook. Canceling Batgirl was probably one of the best decisions that they made. Because they see how it was going to snowball effect and eventually become the D she you. You know, it's just like it went, it's the thing like how people can take advantage when you give them an inch, they take a mile. And that's what was going to eventually happen. And they don't want that because they they already not in a good standing position, so they gotta build themselves up. See, Marvel been on Mar Marvel been at the precipice for a while. They've been at the tippity top for a minute, and now everything is just starting to get a little bit wild and out of control. And now this is what we have right now, and now they're going down. You see how they just got rid of uh, Chapik and Iger back up in there. Iger about to get some things going. He about to change some stuff up. It's no different. It is no different. So hopefully we can go ahead and uh, you know, just just we hopefully we can just get some good content coming out from DCU. Uh, they're looking at Marvel's situation most likely and saying, no, we don't want that. We gotta avoid this. And David Zaslaw, he has the moxie to do what you gotta do. So that way it don't turn into that. So, you know, I just really wanna, um, you know, just thank David Zaslaw because basically he's, they're trying to protect the brand. You got to protect the brand. Marvel's brand is not protected anymore. It's not. You want to be able to hold on to your brand because now when you got James Gunn and Peter Saffron in there, and these guys are good. I like James Gunn. What he did over there at Marvel with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, he took the lesser known characters and he made them big. Just think if he take uh, well known characters and bring them to live action. You see what he did in Suicide Squad with Starro? You know, stuff like that, for example. So you just wait on it. Eventually, the good female-led movies will come. Watch what I tell you, but you just got to be patient. That's it. So good job for them cutting Batgirl out. Because let's be honest, was this movie really going to be good? No, it wasn't. I seen the way that this was going. And when I found out about Batgirl, I was like, okay, uh, we get a Batgirl, but you know, the stuff hasn't been really that good lately. Let's do something about it. But um, that's basically everything that I got to say. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like I said, like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, like I said, my content is not really political driven. I, I really don't do that. But I just want to talk about this stuff because, you know, it's been real hot right now. And it just seems like, like yeah, we just, we just want good content. That's it. We are the fans. We are the consumer. And if you want good content, this stuff must be talked about. They say if you see something, say something. So I'm just saying what I see. Um, but I want to thank y'all for coming over. Uh, just thanks to everybody. I definitely want to reach 100 subscribers, um, let's just say by the new year, and hopefully I can get there with the support of you guys, so like I said, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I am gone, y'all be easy.